Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Global Top English Seminar. I'll be your host for today, Diamond Master Daniel. And so once again, let's just greet one another and say hi. Thank you all for joining us for another great week. Before we begin, uh, let us start our day with our company motto. Are you guys ready? Let's begin. Cherish the spirit, Cherish create, spirit the vision, create the vision, follow, follow the, faith, the faith, serve, serve in faith, humility. humility. Aja, 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 aja. Aja. And so today we have another uh, great speaker for today who is going to be doing a uh, lecture, guest lecture. And we've all heard of him before. And this is the part four from his series. And so I would like us to you know, give our full attention because this is the last part from his uh, four part series, ending everything up and kind of wrapping everything up together of all that uh, is to be the core of Atomy, the how to do Atomy as a business, right? So if we can give a big round of applause and welcome our Royal Master Cheyong So uh, as I bring up the video. Hello, everyone. It's great to see everyone today. It's been one month now. And so now we'll have a time to kind of wrap everything up. And so it should stay, be about one hour. And so we'll be talking about lesson, lesson seven, about successful habits. Uh, about how to do consulting. So there's a lot of things that uh, many people confused as whether they need to do it or what they, they don't. But that's not the case. Consulting is very important. And in, while doing Adamy's business, it helps us direct the direction of our business. So Adamy's business, you do it with your sponsor. You might think that your Atomy business will do well just with a lot of people, but you also need to work together with your sponsor. Only then can you have a great direction while doing your business. And while doing your business, if your direction uh, starts to go into the wrong direction, then when you consult with your sponsor, you can find the answer that you might be seeking. So it's very important for us to consistently uh, do offline meetings and online meetings with our sponsor. And it's important for us to consult with the right person, not necessarily the person that is right above us, but someone who is currently plugged into the system. Because if they're not plugged into the system, then they can't give you the proper advice that you need. Otherwise, if they give you advice, they might give you the wrong advice. And so let's say you're doing Adam's business and then you have something that is not working out well then you want to consult with your sponsor. But because they're uh, right beside you and they're not really doing the business, like they're your friends or someone close to you, but they're not really doing anything and you just think that, oh, uh, you're just talking to them like it's your friend. And then you talk to them like it's your uh, friend talking then you'll have a very uh, negative experience. 
That's because the person that's consulting you're consulting with doesn't know your issues. Especially those in your brother's line, don't consult with them. You can help each other, but don't do any sort of deep consultation. And so like, let's say around you, you have a hard time. Then don't uh, share those negative uh, things around with your friends or family members, because those people will never do atomy. Because you always say that atomy is hard. I don't like this sponsor. Or the business is like this or etc. And so if you do this, then in those people's minds, then they don't think that they should do atomy. And it becomes a misunderstanding. And so those who see your hard work will later on see that, oh, they will have a negative impact by following your uh, decisions and the way you act towards your business. Then they'll have no interest in doing it because they'll have the same way that uh, mentality and so forth. And so it's very important to find a sponsor who can provide a mental counseling support. And so it's recommended to only seek advice from a truthful sponsor and someone who can, you can talk to about all kinds of business aspects. And so it's important for us to have a a sponsor, but sometimes it might not be the one person above and not the one above that person, then you can just keep going up, but not the sponsor of your brother line. And so the sponsor you consult needs to be an important person that cares about you, not someone who is not really interested in you or not really interested in the business. And someone who only complains or uh, talks about negative things or criticizes. Because if you have someone like that, then you'll fight with that person. And so there's people who still act that way, even though they know that their partner is going to leave. And so it's very important for us to find a sponsor that could give us that mental counseling support we need. And you contact them every day if possible, Come, contacting them, asking them about counseling, lineage counseling, and your mastership challenge counseling, and problems and conflicts of counseling should be conducted every day. And don't think that you can just, uh, you know, solve this by running away from the problems. Otherwise, your business could completely go down the wrong path. And don't think that the sponsor is busy. Just call and just have a, a cup of tea and just consult with them. And so just by taking the first step, can you truly enter and grow your business? If you just 
consult once in a while, then that's when you'll just have like, oh, maybe they're just too busy and then you just end up. But if you consult them every day, then it'll just become natural. And so when you're consulting, it's important to do the 133 activity table and then the seven core and a lineage. And so when you do the consulting, don't just talk about your things one-sidedly. You're busy and so is the sponsor. You need to speak about the core things. And that means that the sponsor would rather not spend that time and they'll feel uncomfortable. And so I think that it's important for us to uh, talk about the things that we did well and the things that we did wrong, right? There's many people who only focus on the negative. And so I heard about something from another partner. They just kept complaining about their partner. But then when I cons uh, consulted with the partner, their partner, that partner said that they're a completely different story and the sponsor was the one that was the issue and the sponsor was hiding their own problems. And so don't always only listen to one side of your partner's arguments. If your sponsor is the one that is the only one talking about it, then you might not know the real truth. And so you consulted with your sponsor and the sponsor says that, oh, you know, maybe you can do this or you can do that. But if you do that, then they are gonna take exactly what the words you said. Maybe you said, oh, they probably made a problem. And so they'll go there and then say that, oh, you made the issue and the sponsor has my back. And so if you truly do that, then that partner and the sponsor could never be able to consult with one another. And so as a sponsor, you shouldn't listen to and cater to those people who are talking negatively and criticizing their partners. And so when you're consulting, it's very important for us to maintain a, a very uh, equal level of trust And so when you're doing counseling, you might feel moved by that person and say, that, oh, maybe that person made a mistake. But you got to be very careful about what comes out of your mouth. You need to build the proper trust between that sponsor and their partner, not break that down. And so if someone says to me, oh, this sponsor did this, and so I had a hard time, then I said this, oh, that sponsor still 
helped you out even though you uh, you know have a hard time right and the same thing it's like oh if the sponsor is complaining about their partner then i say that oh that partner is purchasing something so they're still building up points for you would you rather have them gone right and so it's important for us to turn it around and turn it into a positive um, mindset And so as you should be a great counselor and listen to both sides and judge wisely. Never uh, make a quick judgment to take sides quickly, but take time to understand the whole story and then come to a solution that is uh, helpful for both parties. We're not taking sides here. We're just a uh, someone who's here to solve the problem for them, not to uh, take sides with one side or the other. And so don't point out their problems or hastily try to solve their problem, but just rather listen and embrace with your heart that that would be uh, really helpful. And so who should I consult with? And so they don't do Adam business, but they're close to me, right? Like your spouse, your sister, your brother, parents, friends, or Adam YouTuber who is good at lecturing. Or the brother line I envy. or the upline sponsor who don't know the circumstances of my line. And the last is to have to consult with a sponsor who is constantly growing and has been plugged into the system, passionate and know the circumstances of my line. So who is it out of these five people? Obviously the fifth person. And so if you say that you don't have a sponsor above you who are like that, then just keep going up and up until you find the right one. And so if they all don't seem to fit, and that means that maybe it's time for you to look at yourself if no one you meet is uh, able to satisfy you. Maybe you're the issue. And so the questions that you might arise while you're doing the, uh, when they don't do the seven core. Oh, I haven't tried that product. Or do I have to go to the same seminar every day? Oh, didn't the sponsor become the Diamond Master or Sharon, Ras Sharon Rose Master because of me? And so they think that it's their, their, uh, they're the cause and that's why they should be happy for or that that person won't do business and there's no one around me that wants to do business. And so they're saying this because they don't do the seven core. And so that they say that, oh, I can't succeed because I don't have any money don't have time don't i have to take care of my children i don't have any network or i get rejected and that's because they don't have the confidence about adam
And so if you get these kind of responses, then these are because of the fact that they don't do the seven course. And so I have no one to invite to the Success Academy. That's because they don't have any confidence to invite that person. Instead, they say that, oh, just come when you have time. Obviously, they're going to say, I don't have time. The person will make excuses. Like, oh, I have to go watch a movie. I have to go with my friends. I have to go take care of my family. And so everyone has time. You just have to make it work. And so they say that, oh, one line is working, but the other line isn't. Because if one line works, then the other line should work. If one line is working, then the other line is not working. That means that it, they didn't really put in the effort to build that one line. And that means that you have to continue to meet your sponsor to learn and grow. And if you haven't learned, then you start from the beginning again. Or you have people say, oh, my husband, my wife, my sister said this. And there's another person that says, does Adam need make money? And so obviously steps one to eight, they're already the un unable to make money because of those kind of steps. So obviously number nine, they will never make money. And so by the question they ask, we can understand where they lack in the seven core. And so what can I do from now on to be successful? And so it's one of the biggest things that they ask. And so you need to be able to someone who can quickly answer this. And you're going to have to say, oh, do the seven core, especially those who are beginners, steps one and two for 100 days to master. And say you might have someone who comes up and say, I got rejected. Like, oh, I don't have a lot of customers, no one to do the business with. That means that they don't have the confidence. So if you grow it, then naturally they'll come. And so if you naturally build a confidence, people who want to come to the seminar, people who want to do the business. Or they was like, oh, the sponsors are not helping me. Why do they act like that? I hate them, they're weird. And so because they don't know how to succeed and they don't know how to build the right relationship with their sponsors or your partners, you can't expect to have the perfect partner or sponsor. And so many people mistake in the fact that, oh, we have so many great people doing the business because uh, you know, the business is great, the chairman is great, the products is great. But just like any other business, you're going to have the same sort of problems. But just because you have some negative experience, if you close your million dollar club business, who is the one at fault? And so if you don't like your partner, you don't like your sponsor, then you can change because you're not perfect in the first place. So being able to do that will help you change. And so you need to understand that that is normal.
And so I had someone that said that, oh, I have a partner who I really want them to quit. And so I asked them, oh, how much do they make、uh, in terms of points for you? They make around 300 to 500. And it's like, okay, then do you want me to have them move to the different line? And they said, no, why would you? So then if you don't have the intention to want them to leave, never say it. You should never bring those up if you don't really mean it because it will come true. And so there's all kinds of symptoms that appear during counseling、It's、like upset, they know everything, or they want to take it slow, or hurry quickly, or hedgehog system symptoms, or selfish. And so those are all kinds of people you're going to meet while doing Atomy.、And、those people all change through the system and they try to change. And so when I first went to church, I thought everyone was supposed to be angels. I went since I was 40. And I thought everyone was really nice. The pastor was nice. Everyone was nice. People I met was nice. And I thought everything was good. But after time, I started to see their faults one by one. And so I started to have difficult times. Like, I'm like, oh, I don't want to go to church. Because of that person, but I pray to God. Like, oh, God. How come at church there should be great people? And there are some great people, but how come some people are not nice? And so I don't know if I want to go to church. And why do I feel that way? And so I prayed for a bit. And so when we're sick, we go to the hospital. But when they're emotionally or spiritually sick, they go to church to get it fixed. And so Adam is the same. Adam, everything is so great in terms of the system. And we should be thankful that we have it. And when we do this business with that thankfulness, everything starts to become better, even those things that were negative in terms of our sponsors or our partners. Because the way our hearts change, then we'll start to see everything in a new light. And so we can't change the others. The only thing we can change is ourselves. So we, until that person changes on their own, we continue to help them. And so now we're going to move on to the last step, which is to duplicate leadership. Leadership duplication is the management of this business. And so now you're creating that franchise through this duplication. And so that way you build more buildings over time. And so a leader is a person who has to always cultivate their hearts every day. Otherwise, you'll start to have negative thoughts or hate towards your sponsors or your. Partners, and you have all these negative thoughts come in, harming your business progress. And so instead of duplication, you just become、uh, negative and you start to criticize others, and you have a hard time to get over it.
So just like when there's a lot of cars you get into a car accident, when there's a lot of people gathered, there's going to be a time where you're going to feel uh, have a person-to-person -person accident of partners with each other or sponsors with their partners. And so the, in order to duplicate, he's like, how can we do that? How can we duplicate properly without ever breaking down? In order for that, then you need to cultivate your heart first. So which comes first, the chicken or the egg? And so this can be confusing for many. Like, oh, you know, you need one to become the other or the others needs to give birth to the other. But when I read the Bible, there was a solution. God, when he made the humans, he didn't create children or babies first. He created an adult first. And that adult was able to marry each other and give birth. And so the chick is the chicken is the same. The chicken must be created first. So that way the chicken can lay the egg. So orig the original needs to be born first in order for them to duplicate their offspring. And so the atom is also the same. We are first a chick. But in order for us to give birth to our partners and have them grow, we need to become the chicken. If we don't have a become a chicken, we can't produce that partner. But if we don't quickly uh, grow, then you're going to be a, a bird, a chick, and then that partner is going to be a chick. Then that means you're just fighting together as chicks. As adults, you should be at a point where you don't fight. And so as a, a mental wise and as the uh, spiritual wise, you have to grow quickly as a leader and lead by example. And another way to become a leader is to watch one video per day. And so in my lines, And so we have like specific leaders who ma uh, monitor um, each day. And so we do uh, specific videos on this day, one video about chairman lecture. On this day, we do one video about professional lectures. And another video, we do successful person lectures, etc. And we always upload it in the same time. And everyone watches it. And that's how we start the day. You have to watch that at least once a day. And reading books to related to leadership is very important and learning how to become a self-leader. And your exam outside example is a very important. Your business attire, your hairstyle, your tone of voice. And so the business of tire is so ex ex uh, important because when you see like a news outlet, the news anchor, if you they just come on the show with this, the jeans or a t-shirt, then you won't have any sort of trust or respect for that person. But if they come on with a full business suit, then you tend to have more trust and uh, respect for the news out, uh, anchor. And so beware of your cigarette smells and your facial expressions as well. And so also make sure you prohibit in terms of transactions, in terms of your money, insurance. And so always make sure you don't try to do uh, transactions with money 
or these kind of things because it just never ends up well, right? Because you're giving them money while sitting down, but when you're trying to receive money, you're always going around, standing up, begging for it to come back. And so if you want to give money, then give them money if you want, up to the amount of money that you can give. But don't even think about giving it back. Maybe like $50 or $100. But don't give them money that you think that you need to receive back. It's like, oh, oh, when you have a free time, pay it back. When you feel uh, much better financially, pay it back. Then you're always trying to watch, at, watch over them and waiting for them to pay you back when they're better financially. Also, don't do transactions for insurance. Those are uh, really uh, resulting in negative transactions. So don't even think about doing these kind of transactions. Even transactions between products or goods. Don't lend them those products. Because if you lend it to them, they might say like, oh, I already paid you back, but you never uh, realize that they paid you back. And so at this point, you know, you might feel that, oh, did I get that back or not? You might confuse yourself. So always make a record of it. But because you trust them, he's like, oh, okay, I'll lend it to you, I'll lend you the goods. And then they say that, oh, I paid it back. And then they'll, you'll break that trust if they don't pay you back. So in the first place, just don't lend it to them. If you keep lending it to them, then they'll never buy the products that they need. Another person who does other network marketing. It's like, oh, if you listen to my network marketing, I'll listen to Atomy. Don't do that because you're just going to confuse yourself. Because these negative network marketing, they never talk about the things that are bad about them, whether that they have these fees that you have to pay or uh, high uh, expensive products. And so these people don't really know what a bad network marketing is. And they try to make a deal with you. So just ignore these people. And so also be careful with, uh, you know, relationship between men and women and also have a correct title. As soon as you put down the titles, you could have some issues. Because we are a business gathering, so we should respect each other as business people. And so we should give them the proper respect that they have and saying that, oh, if they are specific leaders in a different mastership, let them know. And also do Dutch pay. So that way, unless the sponsor says, oh, I'll buy today, you, I'll pay for your own meals. And don't consult with your brother lines as well.
and don't bring in other people who are working hard in other lines to your line because that is uh, a very bad thing to do hurting not only the other person but also the people who uh, are working hard and so always do your business centered around the principles and so prohibit from talking slander criticism or complaint If all you say that comes out of your mouth is always negative, then you're planting the seeds of negativity. Instead, live by recognition, compliments, and congratulate them. If you want to build the walls with your human relationship, then say all those bad things and negative things. But if you want to build a bridge, then you want to have give them recognition, praise, and blessings. And so if you want to cut away your connection, then do those negative things. And so what do you need to glow? And so in order to clone, we need to clone our duplicate selves. So it's very important. And the way we say things is important. The power of words. And so words you can become seeds. And so these singers have all who said these negative things have actually be ended up in those negative things that happened to them in their life. And even our SM Entertainment uh, CEO, he said, sang the song of happiness and he's living a great life. Another person had a uh, bright sunny day. They sang Danda came back. And they're really living a stories for a bright and sunny day and living a great life as well. Another uh, person, Yun Hang Gi, a uh, pastor, he's saying, I am happy. And now he's a pastor and uh, happily doing pastor, pastoral activities. And so Noha, Noz uh, he said he sang a song about meeting and he met Lee Musong, like the lyrics said, and got married and is very happy. And so the words that we say can become the seeds in our lives. And so are we going to say the words that are going to bless our lives? Or are we going to say bad things that are going to ruin our lives? So you want to say these words that give recognition and praise and blessing. Like, it's okay. Don't worry. Like, oh, you can do it too. Instead of saying like, oh, I knew it's, it's you're going to do that. Instead, just like, oh, it's okay. Don't worry. Let's try again. It'll be fine. Or say that, oh, still that person is attending the meetings or using the products well. You say they're positive things. You don't focus on their negative things. Or you say that, that reassure them that you're glad that they're here. Or like, oh, you know, oh, you've experienced those things. It's okay. I've also experienced it. And you give them hope. And so always thank your sponsor for being there for you. Same with your partners. 
And so are we going to copy or duplicate? If you copy and you copy that copy and then you same and copy the original copy of the copy. And if you keep repeating that process, then the picture will continue to get blurry. That's copying. But we're trying to duplicate. We're trying to make the exact same as the original, even if duplicated. So that way we can truly succeed. And so that means that attitude is everything in this business. And so you need to quickly throw away all the attitudes that you need to throw away such as like negative attitudes. And things like, oh, I can't because this is such a very negative attitude that throws the blame on others instead of trying to work on themselves. Never changes and can't evolve. Unless, and instead you say, nonetheless, like regardless I'm still going to do it, regardless of whether my husband is against it, regardless of whether my friends say bad things about me, I'll still do it. Another thing that they should abandon is to have sudden uh, emotional roller coaster kind of personalities. Instead, you should be patient, you should be caring, you should be trustworthy, uh, and that's the kind of person you want to be. And so don't be a person who's like a hedgehog, who has a very prickly personality, and they think that they're being very truthful, but in, in reality, they're not really being truthful. They're just actually uh, being hurtful. Instead, become a, someone who's like a magnet who attracts others and has benevolence. Someone who just is just by not doing even anything, but they naturally attract others. And also don't try to be so focused on being sad about all these problems and small things. Like, oh, I can't do Atomy because of this, and they just leave. Oh, I can't do Atomy because of that, and they just stop doing it. Instead, you should be thankful even just by meeting Atomy. Because there's no other opportunity like Atomy. There was nothing like this 30 years ago. That's why you might have done other network marketing. But this is such a big opportunity for you. And so Adam is just beginning. And so these are things that you don't want to do, like criticism slander and complaining. These are habits that have not changed in the past, but you need to try to change them. And you know, you're gonna hit a wall in a relationship if, and build mistrust if you continue to do this. And you're going to ruin your business, preventing it from ever recovering. And it's a bad habit of failure, almost like a virus or a cancer. So never do this. And the second thing is to be upset or hiding. Because as soon as something doesn't go their way, they get upset over small things. They're narrow-minded, short-tempered.
when do they always complain about the things that other people don't really remember? And they always try to confront. And there's also people who doesn't know and misunderstand the business progress. They think on their own, and then they think that they're being alienated by their sponsors and their partners. They're thinking alone, and they become jealous. And then they have a habit of being upset, and so they just leave the room or the group, and then come back and then leave. Who would think that this person is trustworthy? No one. And third person is someone who thinks that it's obvious. Your sponsors will do their best to set things right, like having a meeting. They're trying to help you by giving you points. That's something all that you should all be gratitude and have gratitude about. Not think that it's something that's obvious. And so there's someone who uh, introduced them to Atomy and then they left after a few months. And so for them, just having a sponsor is so thankful. But there's someone who's at the opposite who just like, oh, they expect their sponsor to pay for them, sponsor to buy them meals, sponsor to fill their points, because they think that, oh, the sponsor is benefiting from me being here, so they should at least spend that kind of money. But that is such the incorrect mindset. And so if you think that, oh, your sponsor is needs to do all this for you and that for you because you're working hard and they're benefiting from you, then your partners will also duplicate that kind of mentality. And then they come here and then they consult with me. And so who planted that seed? They are the one that planted it because they duplicated incorrectly. They don't treasure their partners and they're dissatisfied with everything. They only point out the mistakes that their partners are making. And so I once said that, oh, that person comes out to the sponsor, uh, center meetings very well. And then that says, oh, they do come. It's already hard enough to find something great and trying to build that up and just fill the things that they're lacking, but they only point out the things that they don't do and they always, uh, they don't like. And that partner will really uh, end up leaving because they don't want to listen to their sponsor's constant nagging. Because you're not perfect either. Do you think that you can be confident in not uh, being criticized by others if they uh, had the chance to criticize you? No, right? There's always people who regret after losing their partners instead of being thankful for them. And so they think that they're the best, but their partner is not listening, or they think that they're the best, but their sponsor is not helping them. And so they're always surrounding themselves thinking that they're the best and thinking that everything should be obvious. Those kind of people don't know how to appreciate and value their, their people around them. And so please do 
try to ba value your partners and your sponsors. And so the first thing is that these people give lip service and they're in the crossed arm club or the pig club. And so they have no passion for atomy business and they just pour cold water on everyone's hard effort. Some people you say even this like, oh, I already make a lot of money, so I don't really need to do atomy. But I do atomy on the side. Then why do you do atomy? And so those kind of people, they don't have the confidence to do atomy, but they just think that, oh, I can just lazily and carelessly do this here and there and maybe make a little bit of money using some people. So those kind of people want to just use others and remote control them and not do any of the hard work for themselves. And so what, this time I went to Mongolia. And so there's already a lot of expenses just going there, bringing products and things like that, building, uh, buying the plane ticket and uh, the hotel, purchasing foods and things for my partners. Already, a uh, few thousand is spent doing that. And after doing that, after coming back, I feel very tired for one week. But I do this for those partners overseas so I can support them for their future and mine. But these kind of people who do lip services or in the pig club, they don't do any of that. They reap all the money, but they don't have any sort of desire to help their partners. Then all your partners will leave and your business will fail. You think that your business will succeed, but never. And so there's always different ways to uh, invest, not just with money. And so I have a partner who bought a house in Mongolia who goes all the way to Mongolia every two to three times a, a week to visit them, to sponsor them. And so if you can't do it, then at least try to sponsor them, their products or through your time and effort. If you don't do any of it and expect your business to grow, then it'll never work. And so these are the things, the reasons why your business is not doing well. You know, you cross your arms and you try not to do their, your business. And it's not like you it's your business. That's how you think. And so some people said this, that, oh, I'm an auto uh, sales master. I only use what I want to use and I just become an auto sales person. I'm so happy. And what I feel that is that their partners probably really have a hard time because their sponsor doesn't do anything. And so that person, what? why do they ever think about that and their partner struggles because they only take out think about themselves and so if you have no desire to do that instead of making your partner struggle just use the products only and don't bother others And so you should be the first one to do your best. And 
And so I've never seen someone successful who said that, oh, I did all this by myself. Anatomy, no one is successful by, by themselves. And so there's no way that you can fill the amount of points that Atomy requires and the higher levels. So that's why we require to work together and you need to respect your partners and sponsors. And there are some people who cannot forget the regrets of their past. You need to let go. It's like, oh, before in the past, this person hurt my feelings and this happened so forth and they come uh, say all this every time they meet someone else we're not doing this business for our past we're doing this for our future and so we said to cherish the spirit right? we need to love others and love other people's souls as well And so we have the intersection and the union. And so the uh, intersection is the uh, place where the two places uh, intersect. And those people who only want to do that part, that inner part, then you'll end up like this tree without any uh, sort of branches. But we need to become like a tree that's filled with branches. Someone who is uh, full of different kinds of people, people who might have issues, people who are really working hard. And only by then can we truly become a union. And so there was someone who came and said that, oh, I really regret not listening to you about this. Now, after looking at my line, I'm like this tree. I was very pickly. I uh, said mean things to others. And I wasn't able to take care of my partner as well, even though I worked hard. And I said that it's still not late. The fact that you realize that that's the starting point, that means that you can still go back. Just to quickly understand your mistake and try to fix those mistakes can easily help uh, recover your business and build your business again. There's always a reason why your business is not working out. And so your sponsor might say it, but if you realize it, you could definitely start to change. And so starting from there, that's the beginning. And so you need to uh, be able to listen. You need to have a uh, willingness to learn and change and also have a poker face, right? Don't put on a face where you're obviously upset. Then you lose trust with others. And so someone who says that, oh, I'll go to the end, they say that because they might think of giving up at the end, before the end. But someone who never thinks about that will don't even think about it at uh, the end and they'll just continue to run.
And so you're going to experience all kinds of things, whether it's good or bad. But you need to grow your bowl as a leader. You need to be willing to lose money, lose uh, not only just money, but other things as well as a leader. Maybe uh, you might lose some of your uh, heart, right? And it's not about winning. By losing, can you truly win in this business? So losing to others is important. And then you serve others. And so you want to engrave your grace on a rock. Just, it's just, you need to engrave the fact that your sponsor did their best to introduce you to Adam. But as soon as you have something that doesn't go your way or your partner is not uh, going your way, if you engrave it on a rock, then it will be very uh, negative. It's like, oh, you remember that time you ignored me or did all this or my partner did this? Instead, all those things that you hated, you carve it into the sand so that it just washes away by the ocean waves and you just forget it. If you gather all those trash in your heart, then you'll just cloud your heart. Instead, just throw it away. And so that place that you want to throw away your trash is the Success Academy, where you go and heal your mentality in your heart. And so everyone has their own goals. And so everyone has different bowl shapes and we don't fit. Even with between spouses, there's hard times to fit in these shapes. But we can't try to shape everyone into the same bowl. Instead, we change each other, change one another through atomy and become this heart-shaped bowl. And so it doesn't disappear, but rather the bowl is covering all those blemishes and making us renewed. And so I, one day I finished the seminar and I went to a state, uh, place to eat. And so my shoes was really painful. So I just wore my suit and then some uh, sneakers. And then someone said that, oh, I saw you. Uh, be like wearing suits with uh, sneakers and it's because we're doing atomy we can't just act the way we want if you are making 40,000 a month can you truly act however you want after saying all these things to others about change and becoming a leader And so there is a CEO called Do Dokyan who was able to make a tree that bears 4,500 uh, flowers and fruit. He has at least six out of the 24 trees has more than 2,000 flowers as well. 
he's able to make uh, thousands of different uh, flowers through this uh, grape. And so he has a secret as able to create this. And so he says it on there in the banner. Do not treat the crops as you think, but treat the crops the way they want it to be treated. And so that is the secret to his success. It's the same as Adamy. And so instead of doing Adamy the way you think, and if you want to succeed, do it according to the system, then you can change. And so I had a partner who was like, oh, this, partner's, this person looks like they're going to change. So instead of fighting with them, why don't you try to uh, accept them? And that person said, oh, sponsor me. I could listen to everything else, but I don't think I could forgive that person. But that person not only just doesn't do that, but they can't do everything else as well. And so we need to be patient and really build on to it. And so there's some mandatory readings and must watch videos that we need to do. And so there's some recommended reads that we can do. And so these are some of the ones that I recommend. This is very important for us to read these to build our leadership. And also go to Channel Atomy and YouTube channels to see these videos. And this is also the Chinese channel for Channel Atomy. And so we have a seven core cartwheel. And if one of the uh, wheel parts are missing, then all of it will start to shake and it won't roll well. And that's why your wheel will not work. You need to make that into a perfect circle and roll it. And so you need to do it with who? What you have to do with your sponsors and your partners? When? From now until success, where? On the Atomy Success Highway, what? And through the seven core cartwheel and how? To not give up and keep going and why? For all of our precious dreams. And so this is the system guidebook. And so that's the end of the chapter. And so I hope that you as business owners, how did you feel from step one to seven? Did you feel like, oh, I listened, it's great, but I'm gonna do it my own way. And so for me, when I did the seven core and did it, there are some people who didn't do the seven core and they still were successful. But when I listened to their speech again, they all did the seven core. They just did it in different steps. So listen to the uh, successful leader's story and see what their methods was because you'll start to see what their seven core was and what they did to get there. And so those people never gave up and took the necessary steps to get there without missing any step. And so I hope that this becomes your direction, that it helps you pick.
pinpoint you into the right direction on your marathon journey until you get to the end and reach the finish line. And so reaching that end is very difficult. And you might give up and want to give up at some points as well. But we don't give up because Adam is hard. But the rather the people we meet, if we meet great people, we'll want to do it until the end. But the reason why many people give up is because we don't want to look at each other because we don't like to interact with these people who we have a bad relationship with. And so you need to understand this before you do this business. You need to be able to overcome those things in order to reach the level you desire. And that's why we need to understand the system so uh, we can understand how to overcome these different problems with our sponsors and partners. And so I hope this guidebook would have been helpful for you so you can avoid these uh, many problems as well. And so I ended up here. Thank you so much. And so let's give another big round of applause for our Royal Master for his last of the four part series. Uh, you know, he really covered the seven cores uh, really in detail, right? Uh, how to do them and you know, what things that you need to avoid when you're trying to build your business. And this is all through his experience and his journey to becoming uh, someone as successful through Atomy, right? And so if he can do it, it's still very much possible for you to do it. Just follow what he did. He gave us a very clear outline. And so if you have any sort of questions or want to see the videos again, please don't feel, uh, feel free to contact your sponsors or uh, you can watch the videos online as well. So once again, thank you for our row master. And so today uh, it did go a bit over time, but I hope that you were able to enjoy the video. Uh, and so we're just going to end it off with our company motto and then we'll just take a picture. So if we can all just uh, open our mics. Are you guys ready? Yeah. 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 Let's begin. Cherish the spirit. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll just take a quick picture. If you have your camera open, please uh, give us a heart. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, thank, thank you, everybody. You, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great week. Bye. 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 Bye.